Right, I am back and I'm testing the DJI Mic 2 with the um, lav mic and I'm going to put this basically in my pocket here. It's nice and um, nice and safe. It is a horrible day today by the way, it is really horrible so you get an idea of what this sounds like outside when it's raining with say someone who's got a hood on and there could be some, you know, noise coming from me moving my head but um, this is great because I basically have the Action 4 in my hand I'm very inconspicuous I don't have a selfie stick nothing the lav mic is right here and <sighs> let me just tell you about the lav mic I bought it from um, DJI and it's got a thicker wire all the other lav mics I've tried have got a thinner wire so when you put it into the DJI mic 2 into that little hole they move. This one doesn't because it's got a thicker wire. So DJI is sneaky when they, you know, when they did that. But this one is pretty cool because you can actually clip it on and you can spin it around. It's got like little teeth that it spins around on so you can angle it really well. And um, I can see the, um, the volume. You know, I can see if I'm going to go into the yellow or in the red. And it makes it really convenient. I can just walk around, take it out. And I can show you, for example, what the building looks like today. So this is what the building looks like, and um, it's it's getting there. It's almost almost completely gone. A few more days, and it will be gone. All right, it is a bit windy. The lavalier does not come with a fluffy dead kitten. So this is what it sounds like. I can feel the wind, and I wonder if you guys can hear the wind. Like I said, it is a horrible day, but say you're out vlogging, you're out in town, you're there for a weekend, and it's vloggy, it's raining, all you have is your Action 4, your lav mic, and your DJI mic 2 that you bought for $99, because that is the best option. If you want to go pro, go with the Rode Wireless Pro, that is a pro microphone system. Like you heard in my video right here, the Hollyland Lark M2 sounds better. So does my four-year-old go wireless. Anyway, that's what the building looks like behind me. And I'm going to walk around today. I'm going to show you a few things very quickly so you can listen to what this sounds like. And the cool thing is I can still walk away from this camera and I can be 100% flexible. So you guys, you know, can see me and hear me and I can talk about stuff. So here is the building. This is what it looks like. And um, it's almost down. It's almost down. I think it's going to need another maybe month, month and a half, until it is completely gone. But, um, yeah, it's it's almost done. You can see that big black thing right there that stops the dust, apparently. That's not true. There's dust flying everywhere. Uh, so, yeah, we are on a busy road now. now. Cars are coming past. You've seen me do a few videos here, if you watched my videos previously. And a lav mic this close to my mouth should really sound pretty good even in this kind of weather even with a busy road like this I can press where is it oh no I can't press it wait a sec no nope, I can't get to it in the menu I would actually have to reach down into my coat and I'd have to press the um, noise cancelling to get to it I can't do that at the moment because it's in my coat damn it Maybe I can feel it. Is that is that noise cancelling on? I don't know, maybe that's turned noise cancelling on. I have no idea. Let's try it again. It did it it made a noise. No idea. Right, so <laughs> I had to check everything, but I did actually turn on noise cancellation by um feeling it out. I don't know where it was but I felt the haptic and it worked. Can you still believe this? What is it today? First of February and there is a damn Christmas tree. How am I meant to get on with my life with a damn Christmas tree on the first of February? I mean, there are Christmas decorations everywhere here and I really want to feel like it's the first of February, not like the 20, 20th of December. You know, I mean, I like the good old days where a Christmas tree would go up on the I don't know, on the 10th, 12th, 14th of December, it would come down classically on the 6th of January, 
and not have it on the 1st of February. Am I moaning? Is, is there anybody else with me? When you go into the shops nowadays and Christmas decorations, Christmas presents have started in September. What is wrong with this world? Anyway, this is what it looks like. And listening to it, I did hear that um, it was going into the yellow. And I can see it's going into the yellow, but I, um, I get told off a lot for having a loud voice. I guess I just have a loud voice. So if you have a loud voice like me, you might want to turn the gain down by, you know, two or three. Um, but I can see it going into the yellow a little bit. Depends on how I'm speaking. Oh, I think one of my favorite shops has um, closed down. That's a shame. A lot of stuff is closing down nowadays. Anyway, like I said, this is a really inconspicuous way of using the DJI Mic 4. And the great thing about it is that you have a whole load of options and you've got 32-bit float if you need it. Um, oh, this is one of my favorite buildings on Piotrkowska. It's absolutely stunning, look at that. Um, and it's just got a whole load of options that you can change inside the DJI Action 4, and I'm sure DJI is gonna be updating all the time. So if you're looking for the best microphone for the DJI Action 4 or the Pocket 3, it is definitely hands down the DJI Mic 2. I cannot deny that. For $99, it's a killer. Right, this is a really tall, beautiful building that is um, getting renovated. Let's see if we can look inside. I oh, can't see much, but um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. There are a lot of beautiful buildings around which that are getting renovated. Um, this street is apparently the longest straight commercial street in Europe, or maybe even in the world. It is, it is long and straight. You basically, you can see from one end all the way down to the other end and it goes on for ages and it's got loads of beautiful buildings everywhere so what do you guys think of this setup so far um, i'm happy i don't have a selfie stick because i basically just chuck this in my pocket don't care it's a very durable action camera and um and you know that that that's about it no care in the world and like i said very inconspicuous with the um dji lavalier and this is the first time I'm using it, so I have no idea how it sounds. If it sounds good, if it sounds bad, do I have to talk a bit quieter? Do I need it up? Do I need it down? I'm sure you guys can help judge. But um, I'm actually going to have a look at CEX, see if they have any old analog cameras lying around that I might be able to pick up. And then I might show you a few more things so you can listen in to the microphone. And I think I'll walk back with it. Right, we've got CEX. And let's have a look. No, nothing in here. Right, so this right here is a test of how quickly the DJI Mic 2 will connect by itself. And right down there is an old Pizza Hut. So we're gonna walk down to the Pizza Hut and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. The Pizza Hut, I remember going there like back in the 90s and it was pretty cool. But it's been sitting basically, oh, it's connected. It's taken 25 seconds for the DJI Mic 2 to connect, and I'm guessing it's switched over from the Action 4 audio to the Lav Mic audio now. But anyway, this right here, that right there is a Pizza Hut, and it's literally, that is Piotrkowska Street right there. I used to come here and eat in this Pizza Hut. It's been sitting like this since I can remember. Completely derelict. It's um, basically right in the very center of watch you can't get much more in the center than this and it's a little bit freaky because you don't know who's around here but um and obviously it's not very safe but that is what pizza hut looks like and yeah used to eat in here look at that absolutely freaky this is the front door so you'd come in through here and this is the old pizza hut Anybody home? Um, can I get a pepperoni? <laughs> um, but you can see it's taken quite a toll. I don't know if this place is safe to even walk on, but um, it's really odd that nothing has been done with this. And, you know, there are a few bottles in there. Look at that. Jesus. Wow, look, you still got one of the seats right there. You remember the salad bar at Pizza Hut? 
The salad bar was awesome. Um, they don't do that anymore, do they? I mean, I don't think this place is very safe at all. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Good view of that. Absolutely wild. I think people, there's even like, you could probably fall down there. There's, there's basic, I don't know how people get in there. And there's like a downstairs and you can, definitely not safe. Definitely not safe. Let's try not kill myself going down these stairs. But um, probably not the kind of place you want to come here at night, right? No, definitely not. It looks very freaky. Um, I probably shouldn't even be out here walking around with a expensive DJI camera. Anyway, let's get back to the main street. I'll show you Grand Hotel, which has just been renewed, and it's absolutely beautiful. It looks, um, it's a five-star hotel on Piotrkowska Street, and I've got to tell you, it, um, it blew me away. I did quite a lot of photo shoots in there. I even filmed a film in there, and um, it's, it's really quite something. It, the, 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 the design, what they've done with that hotel, stunning. Anyway, so look, this is Piotrkowska Street, so we're right next to it, so... There is the abandoned pizza hut. I think there are some shady stories about what happened and why it closed and why it's never reopened, but who knows. I actually worked with this guy, took photos of him. This is like the um, Hollywood stars, but on um, Pitkoska Street. And they're all the way down there and all the way on the other side. And here's the Grand Hotel. It really is stunning. It's not 100% finished yet, but I've got to tell you, what they've done with it is just stunning. And by the way, I do have stabilization on. We're filming on 4K25. And um, this is what the Action 4 looks like. And let's cross the street. Okay. Look at that. I mean, look. Five-star hotel. Absolutely breathtaking. I wonder if I can go inside. I don't know. Wow. Amazing. I'm going to try and go inside. Right, this is the Grand Hotel restaurant. And it's um, absolutely stunning. And this is the hallway. Just wow. Amazing. Let's get out of here. Right, we were inside, all the doors are automatic, and uh, wow, I gotta tell you, I was just in there quickly, so I didn't want to, you know, I don't know, take advantage of them, but um, I gotta tell you, this building, absolutely stunning, the restaurant looks incredible, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm, she says that the swimming pool is going to be open at the end of February, so you can come to the swimming pool, check it out, you know, walk around and have a swim, I think it's like about £30, $40, so it's quite expensive for a day, but for what it is, you know, it's pretty stunning. And look, so we're going to put the camera here. And what I can do is... A lav mic, I can stand here. And I can talk about the... Um, the damn decorations, the Christmas tree decorations. And get in the way of people. Um, people hate being filmed, just like I being, hate being filmed in front of all the people. But um, yeah, it's cool that, you know, you've got the flexibility to move away. And it sounds as good right here as it does over there. Anyway, I'm going to get back home because the weather is absolutely horrible. I might quickly go to a camera store, like use cameras and see if they have some analog cameras. And um, then, yeah, going to upload this. And you guys can decide for yourself if the lav mic sounds nice, if you think it's worth it. Um, <laughs> because... Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do one more test for you guys without the actual lav mic, just with the DJI mic too, so you can hear what that sounds like. And you can decide for yourselves if the lav mic is needed. For me, I think it's fantastic, because all I have is this little thing right here. And I'm completely inspic in inconspicuous. Even when I went in there, the lady, she was so nice. And she didn't even notice that I had the lav mic on. So I think, I think for... $40, it's, it's probably worth it, considering it works so well with the DJI mic too. And my other love mics, out of six of them, two work. Right, so I am heading back to this um, camera store the other way, so I am going past the, um, the derelict pizza hut again. 
Ah, those were good times. The, the 90s in Poland were awesome. And you can now hear me just through the DJI mic because I have the live mic off. And this is what I was talking about. This is the little thing. So you can basically spin it. It's got little teeth. And that's really cool because it helps attaching the lav mic just a, a world easier. And um, it just, you know, makes life simpler. But this is what it sounds like with the lav mic off. And this is funny because you've got the derelict Pizza Hut right there. And then you've got this hotel right here. And they're basically right next to each other. Why can't they take care of that? I really have no idea. Oh, I hate this weather. I can't wait for my pink shorts. And um, I can't wait to meet a whole load of you at NAB again because that's going to be fun. All right, so this is um, a model shop I used to buy like RC cars in as the Polish sailing yacht. Polski Pełnomorski Yacht Kilowy. And down here you've got the Strażak 3. That's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell RC cars anymore, but they have a whole load of old cool stuff. And it's nice that places like this still exist. But the um, camera shop is actually down this road here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And I do right now have the lav mic back on because you know I'm walking around and it feels dodgy having this large DJI mic 2 on me if I had the Lark M2 and you know one of those stickers that you can put on it that would be fine but um, I'd, I'd feel okay but walking around with it I just feel like somebody's gonna mug me or something and that's why I like having this without a selfie stick because I can walk around literally just stick it in my pocket just go And then take it out of my pocket because you know some of these places are dodgy so like you got i mean look at this this is like it's funny the contrast between a five-star grand hotel and then something like this look at this i mean it's um it's pretty wild around here right it's uh, it's great for photography don't get me wrong but um yeah it might not be the best when it comes to walking around with expensive equipment so just walking around with the um Insta360, the GoPro, or the DJI Action 4 like I am now, in your hand is great and it's fantastic. They have a wide enough field of view that you can just hold it in your hand and you don't need a selfie stick. So the Photoshop is the last thing I'm gonna show you guys and it is basically in here. So you walk through here, which is probably a little bit echoey. I might sound a little bit echoey, 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 echoey. And um, just here, there is a Photoshop where you have old cameras, analog cameras and stuff. And this is basically where I've been coming for years to look at cameras and just see if there's anything interesting. Right, just to let you guys know the good news, I found a Pentax SMC 28mm 2.8. Um, for the Pentax my dad gave me when I was, you know, about 18. And because I've only got the 50mm SMC 1.7. So I found this for $30 in that shop. It normally goes for like 60, 70, even a bit more, and it's in perfect condition. See right there? That little thing on the top of that building. That is where I used to run Spinner's Longboards from. That's my um, old company. And right up there. I used to sit up there making longboards and skateboards and that's what I did before being a YouTuber. But that's what I did after being a fashion photographer and working in the feature film business here in Poland. Anyway, really happy about that. And by the way, you are listening to the DJI Action 4 without any external microphones attached. Right there, see? That little thing on top. It was actually really cool because we could go out on the roof and um, literally the whole roof, you could stand on it and, I don't know, take photos. You didn't need a drone back then.